What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, obviously this is a different type of video. This is more of an art style uh, video. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys a little bit of uh, my progress in my art class and um, some of the artwork I've been doing. I'm currently taking a painting 101 class. For this class we are working with oil paints. So for my style of oil paints I did use the, I believe it's the Utech brand of oil paints, which are pretty good. I didn't want to get something that was too expensive because I didn't know how I would feel about oil paints and I didn't want to get something too cheap because obviously if I did like them I didn't want to get something that was a little bit cheap on the cheap side so I went in between um, which I actually really do love oils. So I normally just use acrylic paints for instance like this kind of a brand which are pretty good don't get me wrong but I seriously have fallen in love with these oil paints there are pros and cons to the paints uh, because they do tend to dry a lot lot slower than acrylics but it does give you time to blend and do what you want for my first assignment was a monochromatic black still life and if you don't know what a monochromatic black is, it's pretty much making your own black. Um, if you don't know how to make your own black, I just use pretty much equal parts of the red, a uh, phthalo blue, um, a little bit of phthalo green, a little bit of yellow, and then I'd probably say an equal amount of parts of the burnt sienna. I don't really think I'm made a black color um it's more of the blue but i am satisfied um with this being my first oil painting for my first assignment i would probably say I, i'll use actually a little bit less because i wasn't sure how to make a monochromatic black i do like this area mostly and uh, i do really enjoy the shading i i think it looks pretty realistic there. As for the rose, the rose is okay. I was just kind of getting a little <laughs> annoyed and I guess antsy about it. And it turned out okay. Uh, the middle part, okay as well. Um, but for it being my first one, I think it's pretty good. All right guys, so this is my second assignment and this one was another still life. Have you ever taken an art 101 class? You would probably most likely do an assignment where you would have charcoal and you would black out your whole canvas and you would erase the highlighted parts. So that's what it pretty much did for that. I forgot the name of it, but anyways, you kind of get the idea of it. So for the colors I mixed, the burnt sienna, red, yellow, and the orange. After I mixed those, I did a, a layer of that color and I did mix in linseed oil. Um... I forgot, I, I don't have the um, actual linseed bottle with me, but it is a Windsor & Newton, which you can't see, but it's a Windsor & Newton brand. I did get this one originally, which was the Liquin, and I don't really like it. This one actually is supposed to make the oils dry a little bit faster, but my goal was to kind of slow the process even more. So the linseed oil kind of does that, you do want to be careful. You don't want to go too heavy handed because it can look a little bit streaky. After I did a wash of that color, I took mineral spirits. So you can pretty much use like mineral spirits or I think it's called like terpenoid to take off the paint or erase anything that you don't want. Obviously you can tell um, black or erased out this part. Um, for the background did keep this the same and for like the bowl and for the pot I just erased the highlights and I grabbed a fan brush and used that to help blend it out so like for instance you can tell um, I used the fan brush here so I just kind of go back and forth horizontal motions and it just helps blend that out softly for the bluish color I actually did make the monochromatic black again and you can tell um, because these parts are a, little, are a little bit darker. To lighten that up, I did use obviously white, which was the titanium white. I did mix in a little bit more red to kind of cool that uh, color down. So it looked almost 
kind of like a grayish tone. I do wish I kind of toned uh, tone down that lemon, uh, which I obviously can go back if I want to, but I'm trying to figure out how to do it because I tried to do it once and it looked a little bit muddy. But compared to my first assignment, I think I did pr a pretty good job. You could tell that I did make a little bit of progress here. So this one is actually my midterm project um, that I'm not done with yet. I'm almost done, but again, it's another still life. This one I was trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do. My original thought was to do kind of like a Batman, um, the Batman action figure that's actually my boyfriend's, and then just kind of like some makeup products that I enjoy. So maybe I can just put something in my room, like, you know, something that's with my um, channel. But that didn't go so well, so I ended up switching it. I actually probably switched it about three times. But um, my end result, I actually really enjoy this. Um, it is part of my room so I just did like a desk and I just positioned the action figure how I had already painted I just put um, a little Super Mario toy that I had this is my artwork in the background this one was an art assignment that I did this one is a uh, Goomba smoking the G and then um, Mario's foot which the whole painting is both of them smoking so I thought that would be kind of funny and it would go with the theme of my still life and like pretty much the same as the last assignment the action figure I just did a wash of that chromatic black and then I just erased all the highlight parts and I went back with a different type of blue so I think I used like the ultramarine blue and then I also used just pretty much like basic red for the blue and for the green was pretty tough I think I just made my own green and then just put a little bit of more yellow tone into it I, I honestly can't remember I'm pretty happy I should say with this assignment I still feel like I'm you know progressing a lot not to like do my own horn or anything but I criticize myself a lot especially in my artwork for me to say something positive is not often for me to say so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you have any questions or if you want to see more of my art type videos then just let me know and if you do enjoy my videos just please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video bye